Hi, we're here in my kitchen where I'm going to teach you how to bake the best soft pretzels you can find outside of the mall. What you'll need is uh, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You'll also need a cup of warm water. Just heat up the faucet to the hot water and just put two cups in a bowl, uh, but make sure it stays warm. You'll need a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar, as well as one of those small packets of fast rising or fast active yeast. That's about two and a half teaspoons, but one of these will do well. It's just over what you need. So you just wanna combine all these ingredients together, the warm water, the salt, the yeast, the sugar, and also the flour. And you could do this with um, a stand mixer or we're going to do it today with just a wooden spoon. So if you don't have a mixer, if you don't have one of those big stand mixers, you could simply do it with a wooden spoon. So after this is pretty much somewhat combined, you don't have to mix it for a long time, you wanna just knead it together and you could do that with the hook on your stand mixer or you could just do it by your hands and just knead it for about five minutes going back and forth. So once you're done kneading your dough, it should be soft but not sticky. And what you wanna do is just coat it with some flour before you put it in about a gallon Ziploc bag. You're gonna let that rise for about 30 minutes and after that's done rising, you can preheat your oven, or about tw in 25 minutes, you could preheat your oven to 450 degrees. We have it here on a lightly oiled countertop, and you wanna cut it into eight pieces. You wanna roll these out about mm, eight to 10 inches long, because you wanna have enough to work with. And we're not gonna make regular um, pretzels. We're going to make bunnies. So what you do is just loop it like that, and you twist the bottom and the tops will be the ears. So you wanna give your bunnies a soda bath wash. So this is you just wanna dip them in real quickly and then put them on your greased baking sheet and you're gonna let them rest for 10 minutes before putting them in the oven. And now what we're going to do is brush them with our melted butter. 